Hello, and today we'll be looking at if loops and if else loops in R. So first let's go over if loops. If loops do a task only if a condition is met. So for example, if Adam has apple juice, he drinks one cup. So in other words, if Adam's condition is satisfied, he does an action. It, the condition for Adam would be if he has apple juice. And the action that he does is that he drinks a cup of it. Now we're going to go over how to do this in R and just a disclaimer I will provide all the data and code that is used in this video in the description down below and so let's go over the general format of uh, an if loop in R I have the general format here in my text editor from lines 1 to 7 so the general format is if paren you put the, your condition here, close paren, bracket, and then tell it what to do if the condition is met, close bracket. So it's fairly simple. Conditions could be something like take all the added values of a vector that are less than 13 and add 5 to them. Something like that. So now let's do an example. Use an if loop to check if 13 is less than 200. If it is, add 75 to 13. Display the final value. While this may be easy for us to do without a computer, it helps us to understand how to use if loops. So let's look at the solution. The solution I provide is from about lines 11 to 22, right here. On line 13, I define an object called 13 with the value 13 in it and I also define a va uh, an object on line 14 called final which will hold the final result of our if loop. On line 16 I start the if loop so I have if paren 13 is less than 200 close paren bracket that starts the loop the action to be taken if it's true is on line 18 where I say final equals 13 plus 75. This action adds 75 to the object 13. And then on 20 I, I end the if loop with the close bracket. And on line 22 I display the final result and we'll see what happens. So let's run this example and see what happens. So as you can see, since 13 was less than 200, it added 75 to it and the final result was 88. Great, so now let's do if else loops. If else loops do a task if it is satisfied, otherwise it does a different task. So for example, if Adam has orange juice, he drinks one cup, else he goes and buys orange juice. So in other words, Adam will do a task if it is satisfied, otherwise he'll do a different one. To do this in R, the general format for an if-else loop can be seen on lines 29 to 39. And so the general format is if paren put condition here, close paren bracket, the action that you're going to take, close bracket, and then the else part starts on 35, line 35. It says else bracket, and then the action that you take if the condition is not met, close bracket. Now let's do an example. Perform a two tailed t test between each column of the matrix and the vector provided. Save all the p values. Count the number of p values less than 0.05. Use an if else loop in your solution. And so the solution I provide is from lines 43 to 67. Just a disclaimer my solution also uses a for loop. So if you don't know what a for loop is, check out my other video to learn more about that if you haven't. So let's look at the code that I provide. On lines 45 and 46, I load the code, load the data into R, and then I look at it. I look at the objects I just loaded into R. 
on lines 48 and 49, I define two objects that will that I'll need for my if else loop. 48 is the p values from the, the t test, and then 49 hold, will hold a vector of ones and zeros, where the ones represent the p values less than 0.05, and the zeros represent those greater than 0.05 or equal to. Line 51, I start with a for loop. So I, I begin for paren i in 1 colon 100 paren bracket p values square bracket i square bracket equals t dot test paren matrix square bracket comma i square bracket comma vector paren dollar sign p dot value and so that line 53 performs the, the test a hundred times and then on line 55 is where I actually start the if else loop so f line 55 says if paren p values square bracket i square bracket less than 0.05 paren bracket then I say on line 57 the condition final p's square bracket i square bracket equals 1 so if it's less than 0.05 I make I put into my final vector a 1 for that value then I end the if the first condition and then on line 60 I start the else and so it says else bracket on line 62 is the action to take place if the condition is not met which is final p's square bracket i square bracket equals zero and then I end the else loop and then I end the for loop that for loop does everything that we just asked for in the example that we were provided and then on line 67 I simply add up my final vector, the final p's vector, so that I can count the number of p values that are less than 0.05. So let's run this and see what happens. And so, as you can see, for loop gave us the final solution that none of them are less than 0.05 and so we can just check that real quick just by looking at the p-values vector after you look at them that none of them are less than 0.05 thanks for watching my video make sure to like comment and subscribe visit my website rgallion.com for more R and statistics guidance you can also visit my Facebook page and follow us on Twitter have a good one